please welcome Mufti Shah Hamza. Respected elders, viewers, brothers and sisters, I greet you with assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's an absolute honor and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make these conferences again and again and bless the ummah with such honorable ulama of this country, alhamdulillah, have gathered here to celebrate Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his legacy. Today I have been given a topic to bring in front of you the wisdom behind the battles of Islam. Now we say battles because it is politically correct. The word has been used in such a negative connotation over the past few decades. It's almost goes hand in hand with extremism and terrorism. But the reality of this word is that it was founded and it was introduced to fight for freedom. It was introduced and founded to fight for liberation. It was used and introduced to fight for equality. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the very beginning, you've been listening from the beginning, and I'm sure you've heard over and over again the beginning story of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'm going to cut it short. Briefly, Rasulullah was given his prophecy at the age of 40, and from the time, the very moment that he received his prophethood, he began to give da'wah, and as he gives da'wah, people slowly, slowly, and inevitably and naturally, they begin to accept the call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But with it comes consequences. With it, the freedom to express their religion is taken away. Some of them are tortured, some of them are punished. The sanctity of life is taken away. They are not worthy to be living. They are not worthy. They are less than human. They are treated, they are tortured, they are punished. And yet all of this is happening under the watch of the state. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaching us the wisdom behind it is that if you stay silent at the times of oppression, then it doesn't get better by silence. It doesn't improve by silence. At the beginning of Islam, the word that I'm about to say, the freedom, fighting for freedom, the word is jihad. The word jihad is not taboo. The word jihad is not extremist. The word jihad is fighting for freedom. Fighting for freedom of expression. The very freedom that we celebrate today, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had to endure torture and punishment so much so that he was exiled from his own birth city and he endured it. And this exile was not given at free. This exile was given to him after he had to escape from his home. The very night that he is leaving his home, he is met with a bandit of people outside his home. And he escapes by the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But coming to the real uh, discussion of today, the very battle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَوْمَ الْفُرْقَانِ يَوْمَ الْتَقَلْ جَمْعَانِ This was a day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, differentiated between haqq and batil, differentiated between right and wrong. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not ask for war. Rasulullah and Islam and Allah does not encourage war. We are not bloodthirsty a people. We are a people of peace and justice. And so the jihad that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fought for the day before the war, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raised his hands and asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh Allah, if we are not victorious today, if we do not become victorious today, then after today, there will not be a single person that will be able to worship you. Freedom of religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him victory after victory after victory. Come the day of Fath Makkah, just like the honorable gentleman before me was mentioning beautifully, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the man who was exiled, the man who was tortured, the man who was punished and taken out of his own city, he comes back to this city. But what is his state? He is 10,000 men strong 
Today, if he wants, he can have a bloodbath. Today, if he wants, he can bring back the revenge. Today, if he wants, he can come with rage and anger. But today, how does he come? He says the words of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, La tathriba alaykum al yawm. And upon this, I finish, inshallah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam was a man of example. And if there is anyone that wants to lead a nation, lead a people, lead a community, then they, do, they need to look no further for guidance than the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam.